Hey guys, and welcome to a quick update video for today. Um, now, I have a lot to talk about in this video um, concerning matters that happened to me over the past week or two. Um, I'm sure most of you guys have seen the June newsletter that uh, King's Isle posted, I believe yesterday, and there was a huge section on how to protect your account, um, pretty much. Now, that was due to part to a past video that I did um, on this account where um, I mentioned this guy who gave me free um, bundle codes. And I did a video of me showing off the stuff that he gave me. Um, now, it actually turned out that that person was in or had, I guess, a stolen credit card. Um, and he used the stolen credit card to buy um, said things and gave them to a huge part of the Twitter community. Um, and in doing so, my account got banned, um, temporarily banned, I should say. Um, I have been going back with King's Isle over, got like a week and a half, um, and we finally settled the issue, I hope. Um, they wanted me to pay $34, um, which was insane, I think. Um, but instead, they decided to give me another chance, and now I am back. Um, I don't want to go too into the details of it, um, just that um, a lot of people in the Twizzard or T Wizard community on Twitter, um, in my opinion, got unrightfully banned for this guy's action. Um, it was completely wrong. Um, I was really gullible and I fell for it. Um, let's just know that I am not going to fall for it ever again. I am not accepting any more free codes from anybody um, because I now know that my account could get banned for life and uh, I don't really want that to happen. So um, just know guys that if you did end up following that guy um, because I did post his Twitter in the description of that video um, just he's gone now both of his accounts are gone um, he either deleted them or got suspended or something um, he had two accounts at one at one point he deleted one of them I think and then he made another one because he got in trouble um, and he continued to spread codes uh, around Twitter and uh, a lot of people fell for it um, a lot of people redeemed more stuff than I did and they just got a slap on the wrist and said, no, you're fine, just don't do it again. Um, that's where I was a little bit peeved because, like I said, I redeemed less stuff than they did and my account got what I thought to be permanently banned. Um, so what I did is I immediately wrote King's Isle and explained the entire situation. I had screenshots of what happened. Um, I don't know if they ever looked at the screenshots. I feel like they didn't but maybe they did, I don't know. Um, and I just explained the situation as best I could. I came to the realization that, you know, maybe I will have to pay, and if that's really the only way to get back the account, then I was going to have to. Um, however, this morning, I woke up around 7.30, it's now 8 in the morning, um, and they told me that I used the crowns that I accepted, which was a complete lie. I didn't use the crowns at all. In fact, I actually emailed King's Owl and they removed the crowns from my account. I don't understand why the person wrote that, um, but they did. Whatever. Um, and in doing so, they gave me an exception and unbanned my account, which I am forever, forever thankful for. Um, I know a lot of people aren't in my position um, but like I said just be really persistent with King's Isle and be respectful to them and they will get back to me I admit um, there was a point in the discussion I had with them where I ultimately lost faith um, and trust in them because the, just the way they were handling the situation just seemed so out of control 
Um, like I said, there was a lot of people that accepted these codes and got in trouble for them, and then there's a lot of people who accepted a lot more of these codes and just got a slap on the wrist and said, oh, well, don't do it again. Um, and it, I don't know, it was just crazy. And I just advise all of you that is watching this video right now to not accept anything. No codes, no nothing. Nothing. Um, like I said, I learned the hard way, and now I know to never, ever, ever, ever accept any more codes because that really put my account in jeopardy. And at one point, I didn't know if I was ever going to get it back, and I didn't know if I was ever going to make another video um, on this YouTube, and that would have just... It, it, it crushed me. I mean, I was crying for like a week straight because I didn't know what was going to happen. Um, and since Courtney is somehow associated with my account as well, I thought, oh gosh, she's going to be so mad at me too. Um, but hopefully I figured it out. I don't know. Um, the bundle items that I redeemed on this account are still on this account, so I don't know if I should just trash them. So I emailed Kings Isle again asking if I should trash them or not. Um, so we'll see what they say about that. Um, I don't know... Because they, they told me they banned me because I used crowns, which I didn't. So does that mean that the bundle items I have on my account are legit? I don't know. I have no idea. So that's why I'm asking them. Um, and I don't know. I was just getting really frustrated with the whole thing. And it was crazy. And like my Twitter was blowing up with people saying, Oh my gosh, it's not your fault. I mean, it's really not anybody's fault. I mean, everybody's gullible at one point in their life. And they take stuff that they probably shouldn't. And it's one of those too good to be true things. Um, however, at the time, um, he was the person, only person that was talking to me about gifting me stuff. Um, after he gifted me stuff, though, he started posting 60,000 crown codes rapidly on his account. Like, every 10 seconds, he would post one. And that's where red flags went up on me. And I'm like, there's no way this guy has that many crowns. There's no way. There's no possible way. Without generating them or... Um, hacking them or something. There's no possible way. So as soon as I saw that, I'm like, I need to email King's Isle about this. Um, and in doing so, I got banned, which kind of sucks. Because, you know, you kind of feel like if you email King's Isle in the very beginning that maybe they'll be, you know, lenient towards you or something and be like, okay, well, we'll just remove all this stuff and you can go on with your life, which they did. They removed my crowns, um, like they, but they didn't remove my bundle items, which is weird. So I emailed them back to see what I should do with that. So hopefully they'll get back to me with that. Um, and hopefully I won't get banned ever again. <laughs> because that's not a nice feeling. <laughs> it's not a great feeling to, to pop up to, to, um, to the, the wizard loading screen, type in everything, and it's saying you are banned. And it's just a, it's a terrible feeling. Oh my gosh, I don't want it to ever happen again. Um, as soon as I saw that, which was I think on... I think I got banned on Friday. Friday or Saturday. Um, it's now Tuesday. Um, I saw it and I just, I'm like, oh my god, what the heck did I do? Like, because I felt I did everything right. You know, I contacted King's Isle, they got rid of the crowns, everything seemed handy dandy. Um, and then they're like, oh no, you're banned. And then they gave me like multiple reasons for why. So I know I'm getting multiple people talking to me. And it's kind of annoying. I wish it was just one person talking to me. Because that way they'll understand what I'm going through. Like, because they'll see everything. Um, but obviously I have different people that I've been talking to. And they all keep giving me different answers. So it's like, okay, well, can you just do this? And then we can just go on our merry way. Um... Which they did. I did a lot of soul searching and um, praying and because, I mean, I didn't do anything wrong, in my opinion. I mean, I did something wrong. I accepted his codes, which were obviously a bad move. Um, but I'm human and I make mistakes and I'm not perfect. So, I mean, that's where I went wrong. I don't think I went wrong with the contacting King's Isle them going, okay, this is bad, and banning me. I, I, I give them props for that, I, I, I guess. I don't know. I think the whole paying for it, though, was kind of silly, because, um, I, like I said, I didn't use anything. All I did was redeem the bundle stuff, and I told them they can take that away. Like, I don't want it. I don't need it. Um, and they did remove the crown, so I don't know why I would have had to pay, but, I mean, it, it almost came to that point where I would have had to pay. 
um, the money, which would have taken at least over a week to even, for them to even receive the money, so it would have taken me probably like another week to redeem the account. So I'm hoping that nothing goes bad again. Um, and if it does, then I'm just going to continue being persistent with King's Island until I get my account back, because quite frankly, they gave me another chance and I'm not going to blow it. <laughs> So, um, anyway, I also have some news, um, concerning us moving. We're going to be moving soon, and everything is sort of finalizing now, and it's exciting, and I'm gonna have a bigger room with my own bathroom, so yay! Um, so again, the videos are going to be on the down low, um, but I'm thinking of bringing back a couple of series um, I might bring back Fantastic Friends Furnishings, I'm gonna continue with my mount videos, and also my haul videos, which I think you guys are enjoying, um, as well. Um, which are mostly my pony videos, my pony blind bag videos, if you guys haven't checked those out, please do. Um, they're very exciting, because you don't know what I'm gonna get! So, um, those are always exciting, and then I might do more of those in the future, or maybe, like, when I go out and buy stuff, I don't know. You can do like a haul video of me buying stuff. But let me know what you guys think about that. And again, please, 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 please do not get codes from somebody that is not a part of King's Isle or is not a part of their fan sites. Because you're going to get in trouble. So don't do it. <laughs> please don't do it. Um, I have learned the hard way, like I said. And I am never, ever, ever, I mean, in my case, I'm never, ever, 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 ever going to accept any code other than, like, the May Day things that King's Owl did on their Twitter. That's really, like, every all the things I will pretty much accept. I won't accept anything else. Um, so, ugh. I don't know. I'm just glad it's over, and hopefully it's over, and everything is fine and dandy, and I can continue playing this amazing game and having a great time with friends. Um... Just I'm sorry for all the confusion, and if you guys really have no idea what I'm talking about, then I'm going to leave a link to my Twitter in the description, uh, and then um, I bit, I was on Twitter the entire time um, during this the, this issue, so you can see all the, the emails that I've sent to King's Isle on there, and all the emails they sent back to me, and um, me crying. <laughs> it's very depressing. Um, but right now it's all happiness on my account. So if you guys want to go check that out, please, please, please do. Please go follow it because I am on Twitter, uh, most of the time. I'm on Twitter more than Facebook now. So, um, yeah, please go check it out. And please do not accept any codes, guys. Unless they're from a fan site, an, an accredited official King's Isle website, fan site, or just King's Isle themselves. Please do not accept anything. Please don't. I don't want you to be in the same situation I was because it's a terrible uh, situation and I don't like it. So please do not. Do not. Do not. Do not. Do not. Do not. I cannot express it enough. I was wrong in that video. I'm going to delete that video and um, everything would just be perfectly fine and dandy hopefully from this forward on. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Um, it is Tuesday. So have a great rest of the week and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Don't accept any codes. They're evil and bad, and I was disconnected due to inactivity. Okay, goodbye, guys.